Through These Doors is sponsored by Shields. Here's to everyone who believes in competition and good sportsmanship, who knows it's not about the trophies or the medals, but rather the lessons learned. For those who understand, it's not whether you win or lose, just that you give your best. So go ahead, place them up, take the field, have fun, and play. For the experience, for the memories, for the love of the game, Shields. Needing only one point to secure the Penrose Cup, the North Dakota men's hockey team traveled to Miami last weekend. UND had been in this position before. The last two seasons, UND had a chance at first place, only to watch opponents hoist the cup. Not tonight. Thompson with it down the near boards for North Dakota. Bad angle shot, he scores! Keaton Thompson from the... Connor Gorder scored his third straight game-winning goal and Zane McIntyre stopped a season-high 43 shots as top-ranked UND defeated host Miami 2-1 to to win the Penrose Cup outright and secure the top seed for the NCHC playoffs. Uh, really proud of the I think our entire staff is really proud of this group and uh, you know, to, to win this regular season championship uh, was, you know, it was a tough run. It's a great lead. Uh, and uh, our guys battle hard, stay with it. The Red Hawks peppered the junior netminder with 39 shots over the final 40 minutes alone, including 21 in the second period. That was the most allowed by UND in a period all season. As, as a whole, it, uh, it was a team effort and a uh, uh, team effort for that trophy. Regular season championships, hardest championship to win. I don't have to tell you guys that. Great battle all year long. You deserved it. You earned it. I was there last year, Saturday night, when Western got the best of you. I'm happy and proud and honored to be here tonight to present you guys as Penrose Cup champions. On Saturday night, the Red Hawks had another strong second period. This time, however, Miami used it to its advantage, scoring three goals. Austin Zarnick scored the hat trick as Miami took Saturday night six to three. The first loss on a Saturday for UND all season. It's definitely, it definitely hurts right now. It's, uh, it's not a good feeling to lose at all. Even though, uh, after the big win last night, and seeing that cup, it's. Uh, you know, we want to win every game we're in. It doesn't make it, uh, doesn't make it easier at all that we, want to lead. We, we don't want to lose that game. So. It was a tough loss, but with the Penrose in hand, North Dakota went home with a bittersweet taste to ready for the playoffs. We talked, we talked about it in locker room for, uh, for a minute. Uh, this group uh, is, is pretty intelligent and, uh, and, you know, and uh, knows you know, what happened tonight. So we go back to work on Monday. Now, it, now, now we turn to a three-game best of three a series against Colorado College, and that's where the focus goes right now. Now in his 11th season as head coach, Dave Haxtall plays many roles as the face of UND hockey. Every Friday before home games, the UND alumni attends the fan luncheon at the Alaris Center where he has the opportunity to interact and address fans and friends. Accompanied by St. Cloud State's head coach Bob Motzko, 
Hank Stahl's address to the audience stayed away from hockey and focused on the people that makes this team so special. Since taking over the head job, Hackstall and his teams have made an NCAA tournament appearance every year, an accomplishment he deflects to the players. Well, I think I'm the smartest, smallest part of it. It's the players in the locker room. Uh, you know, it's, uh, it's you know, when you look through the years, the number of great people that have been in our locker room, competitive, prepared, uh, successful people. Uh, you know, there, there's some that are very successful in the game. Uh, there's, uh, you know, the rest that aren't playing that are successful in other areas of life. Those are the guys that go out and get it done. Uh, and, you know, as I come back to uh, the staff uh, that, that I've had the opportunity to work with, uh, whether it was here as an assistant with Dean and the rest of his staff, or, you know, the staff that uh, we've had over the, uh, the last 10 years, um, you know, it, it's, uh, it's the combination of everybody working together uh, that creates that opportunity for success. Not only has he gained the admiration of his alma mater, Hackstall and UND Hockey are revered as among the best by fans and media alike. You know, he, he's intense, and granted, everybody is intense in the conference, but he's got a different kind of intensity. It's, it's, he can be excited at times, but he could also kind of give you that stare and let you know exactly that he means business and, and get his message across without saying too much. And I'm kind of a big fan of, of somebody who can say a little bit and mean a lot, and I think that's kind of where he is. The other thing is, you can see how much more comfortable he is now than he was even earlier on in his career. I mean, he's, he's composed behind the bench, he's comfortable behind the bench, he can't get intense, but the bottom line is when he, when he walks up and down the bench, when he talks to officials, when he talks to his players, you can see how much more comfortable he is than when he was a few years ago. I think his true personality has come out more every year, and I think this is reflected greatly in the teams that he produces. I mean, t to me, this team is, is uh, it's like having 25 Dave Hackstalls out there. Verge Foss, a human encyclopedia of UND and collegiate hockey, has been working with North Dakota teams for 45 seasons. Having covered former coaches like Gino Gasparini and Dean Blaze, Verge notices clear differences in their demeanors. I think Gino, maybe, maybe because of his Italian background, is, uh, was much more emotional and, and, uh, and up and down, up and down. You know, Coach Hackstall is pretty level key all the way through. I mean, win or lose, he's not he's not real emotional after the games one way or the other. At least he doesn't show it. But maybe it's the old duck story. You know, on the surface he's just gliding along and paddling like hell underneath. But but uh, whereas Gino, you know, would could be quite volatile. Same with same with Dean Blaze. Dean would could fly off a handle. And, and uh, interesting story last year at the froze at the frozen faceoff. All the teams were getting ready for their practices on that Thursday, and North Dakota was way down at one end of the hall. And here came Hack in his tracksuit, his flip flops, and a t shirt, and kind of keep walking down the hall and just kind of struck up conversations with all the other coaches that were there. And I looked around and I said, Wow, you know, he's the veteran guy now. Like, he is the longest tenured guy of all the teams that are here. I thought that was really cool. Like, all of a sudden, I remember him first taking over for Dean way back when, and he was the rookie, and all of a sudden now, he's the old guard. He's the guy that represents kind of where everybody has come from, and he's built a tremendous success story along the line. So that's where I say, I just see comfort level, I see confidence, and you see his personality. I think year after year after year, you see his personality come out, and when, when he kind of lays back and just takes a deep breath, he is a really engaging guy to talk to, and he's got great stories about his history, the history of this program, and, and certainly his days in pro hockey. There's, you know, there's certain people uh, through your life, uh, you know, professionally that are very, very influential and, you know, and I think first and foremost your family uh, always has a huge impact uh, on, on the job that you do uh, professionally but no question, you know, for me uh, learning and having a chance to, to learn and work under Dean, uh, having a chance to play for Gino, uh, but also just, you know, the people that it, uh, uh, when I was here uh, I came in uh, the same year that Brad Berry did uh, we came back to North Dakota together, and you know I've learned so much uh, from from Brad as a person and as a uh, as a coach. Hack Snall and his two assistant coaches, Dane Jackson and Brad Berry, played at UND, and it shows in the pride with which they manage the young players that now represent the green and white. Oh, I love our job. I mean, uh, each and every day we come here, uh, even on our toughest days. Uh, you know, uh, Dane and Brad and myself. Uh, Mark Poolman, Patrick Swanson, we've been together, you know, for uh, for quite a number of years. Uh, Carl Gehring has added so much to that mix that, 
uh, it's uh, you know it's an absolute privilege to be able to come uh, to this building every day and like I said work with great young people uh, day in and day out no matter how challenging uh, the situation uh, it's uh, there you know it's always a positive day. The newly crowned Penrose Cup champions prepare for the first round of the NCHC playoffs against Colorado College. The first round matchup, the same as last season's tournament. First night we won in a close one, second night they beat us in overtime, and then third night I think we won by one or two goals, so they're all really close games. A best two out of three series, UND hopes to take care of Colorado College, a team that has been playing better as of late. They have some of the uh, best defensemen in the country and their goaltending player is playing outstanding right now. Um, they're just well coached. We saw that when we played, played them here uh, not long ago. They, they check well, they know what they're doing, they have a good structure to their team and uh, I think they're really kind of buying in and believing uh, what their coach is leading them to do. And uh, we know anytime you're trying to end a team season, it's, uh, it's an extremely hard thing to do. There's prideful guys in their locker room and uh, you know, we just feel if we can play our very best games that uh, we have a good chance to win. There is no easy out in the playoffs and UND knows it will need to bring its best each night to keep achieving its goals. Game and it really does come down to, you know, just uh, will and battle level and uh, those things really seem to kind of get elevated or rise to the top in these kind of, even though it's a short playoff series, but that playoff style mentality. I think we're going to come out assertive. We have a lot of respect for these guys. Um, I think uh, well, the record might not show up, but they have some guys that can burn in um, good goaltending and good coaching. So, um, you know, we're going to come out just as much fire as we ever, ever have and uh, hopefully uh, things go our way.